When you have patients that come in who are frustrated and you see their exposure to robotics or open surgery, you're thinking to yourself, what can I do to make it better for that patient? Well, the LAM procedure, which is laparoscopic assisted abdominal myomectomy, is a sort of a hybrid between laparoscopy and a very small cut to take out the fibroids. We developed the LAM procedure because the laparoscopic approach has a lot of limitations. Um, it is unable to remove smaller fibroids and fibroids inside the uterine cavity, and there is also limitation in, in the ability to reconstruct the uterus properly. Most fibroid removal from the uterus is done by an OBGYN physician as an open surgical procedure. Now, this requires a hospital stay of two to three days with a six to eight week recovery period. Minimally invasive approaches such as robotic or laparoscopic myomectomies can be used to remove fibroids from the uterus, but are usually limited to smaller fibroids on the outside of the uterus. So myomectomy generally means take out fibroids. In order to do a myomectomy properly, you have to be able to feel where the fibroids are. A robotic approach can't do that. The doctor's sitting at a console 15 feet away and doesn't even have the ability to feel the uterus or the fibroids. A laparoscopic approach for fiber removal is sort of the same. The doctor can feel the fibroids with metal instrumentation, but with LAM, we're able to actually put a finger into the uterus, identify where those fibroids are, and with the sense of touch or feel, to remove all the fibroids in the uterus that are present. The LAM approach is a small one quarter inch incision at the belly button. The other incision is about three centimeters, only about that big, way down on the bikini line. So with those two incisions, you're actually able to take out the fibroids and feel where they are. You're not gonna miss smaller fibroids. You're not gonna miss fibroids deep in the muscle. That's vital for patients, especially those that are thinking about getting pregnant or have bleeding from fibroids. The reproductive endocrinologist, for example, prefers our approach to robotic or laparoscopic myomectomy because with those other procedures, smaller fibroids may be left behind, which will be detrimental to fertility. While it's a very innovative technique, the part that is so incredible about LAM is that it gives women an, an, an opportunity to conceive by sparing the uterus. Many of these women may have still had that opportunity, but it would have had to have been, an, you know, through an open procedure, which would have been far more painful, uh, you know, more time out of work. And LAM is giving them this opportunity uh, through a very small incision and, uh, you know, less pain. Power morselation is never used during a LAM procedure. LAM procedures performed by CIGC surgeons do not use power morselation for removal of fibroids from the uterus. Power morselation is not beneficial for the LAM procedure. It takes longer time to perform, it has more risks, and it can potentially spread cancer if the cancer is already present in the fibroid. Get a second opinion. Talk to other doctors. If your doctor is not doing a LAM procedure for fibroids, find a doctor that is. CIGC surgeons are the only ones in the metropolitan area doing it. So LAM is extremely thorough, very safe, and a very novel approach that controls blood loss dramatically better than other approaches and gets the patient the best possible outcome. That's what they deserve.